Hey guys, I wanted to check out something uh, I just got from my R-Pod. Uh, I have the 182G, which is the one with the, uh, uh, the garage back here, the little kitchenette area on the outside. Um, but basically, uh, we had uh, a custom awning built. It's a flexible awning, almost like a fold-out sunshade. Uh, it has a tent fold that runs through it, keeps it rigid. Uh, it's done in a custom color. And we went with the green and the gold to kind of match the uh, the side of our our pod. But uh, uh, if you take a look, it's probably say probably like ten feet long, and actually sticks out uh, a good four feet off the front of the. I'd say four or five feet. You know what? I should measure it, uh, and that way we'd know. But uh, the company is called Paha Q Wilderness. I think that's how you say it. P A H A. A new word, Q U E, wilderness. I'll put the uh, the link in the, the description down here. But uh, essentially, you get uh, a fold out awning rather than having the uh, uh, the R pod has that big tent thing that comes off the side. Uh, we chose to get ours without that because it's such a pain in the ass. But uh, this just slides into the Keter rail. I think this is 14 millimeter Keter rail. This is the thicker one, not the smaller one. And there's one down here on the bottom <clears throat> that you can attach the uh, the anchors to, and these anchors kind of keep it uh, rigid. <clears throat> so uh, our cost was, I think, like two hundred sixty dollars shipped. I have to double check that, but uh, it's under three hundred dollars to have one of these made, and they will make them for uh, all the models of the R Pod. So uh, if you have one other than what we have. Uh, you don't have the 182G, you can get one for the 179 or the 171 or the different models of our pods. But um, <clears throat> I'll tell you what, we put the camera down and uh, take this back off and put it back in its case, and then we'll do a video of assembling it. Cool. So let me go ahead, close up the door, and then slide out these from the Keter rail. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the tent poles out of the mounting slot here. Oh, that one stays in there. So there we go. And then out comes the tent pole. like that it starts to collapse this is why I got out of tent camping here I am doing it again with an awning And on its own, it has come off the R pod. Right. Let's get this tent out. So, here we go. There's a tent pole. I saw the little Keter stands and instruction manual. And then there's more instruction manual. All right. Let's do it from here. Understand this just folds up, I believe. I don't know. I'm not quite sure how this works. Right. I'm gonna do it like that. And I'm gonna take this section and I'm gonna Alright. Then all the poles and everything. Instruction manual. Little things for the, for the holes and then you roll it up like so. Make sure the things are in there. And now 
about making it all dirty, putting it on my floor in my garage here. That's it. It's put away. Uh, comes with this case. Fits nicely in there, which looks like I got it close. It has one more cover, but I don't really want to use too many covers. And we'll see if I can fit it back in the box. All right. Right, so this is the box that came in. It's pretty small and compact, and when we're gonna store it in our RV, it's just gonna store in this uh, nice little bag, almost like the size of a big chair. And you'll see that, and then uh, let me throw this box out of the way. And unfold it. Inside is your awning. And then if you just lay it out, unroll it, it comes with uh, let's see your your flexible tent pole which gives it its rigidity and then some uh, uh, stabilizer poles and your instruction manual but uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and put this thing together now um, before I had help and we actually ran this, um, I'm sorry, I made a mess of this. But you actually ran the tent pole uh, through it while it was on the R-Pod. But I'm wondering, if we take this thing and we stretch it out, if we can't uh, save ourselves a step. Now, if you unfoil this thing, there's a hole right next to the the white Keter rail here. And you just feed this guy into it. Like so. Okay. And as you can see, this thing ends up being uh, pretty long. But I'm figuring if I can do this, I might save myself the headache of doing it when it's up on the, the R-Pod. So let's see how well this works. All right, so, so far so good. Looks like we're almost on there. So, all right. And then uh, it's got a couple of stabilizer lines. But what we do is we run this white bead into the Keter rail. And then it should just go right in. Whoa! So I'm doing this by myself. And then. So what I need to do is get it out like this. Put this pole in there. And then there's a, a slot that this goes into that makes it rigid. So once that's like that, I'm pretty sure I can just feed this right in there. Oh, look at that. Voila. Pretty much did it by myself. Huh. Now, on this end down here, uh, it's got to go into the little stabilizer pouch right there which gives it its uh, shape. And then, so far, there it is. Now the one thing I noticed is, is these guys, out of the box, are way too long. So you may have to knot this up. I'm just gonna put a slip knot in there right now. Uh, this rope goes down into the Keter down here. And then this pulls tight. Uh, to stabilize this but let's see if we're even oh, man once it's in there it's in there all right there we go right now the tie downs will give it um its shape so again on a oops 
somebody wants to yell at me for my knot tying, um, I don't care. So this goes into the Keter down here. Oh. And by doing so, it kind of lost its shape. But actually there. That, that one's like that. By doing that, this one got tighter. And then, uh, whoops. Looks like it, uh, it didn't make it. Uh, so, somewhere in here I'm doing something wrong. Uh, there we go. Oh, got it. That just needed to be in proper position and then boom, it was done. Uh, ow. <sighs> Looks like that, that's right on the Keter rail. It keeps its shape. But if it's not, then it kind of deforms a little bit. Uh, so that's it. There's the awning. It's up. Well, that's it. We set it up. Well, I set it up all by myself. Um, the only issue I'm having with this thing right now is, uh, per the instructions, out on this strap, there's supposed to be a grommet hole uh, where the, the rigid poles uh, attach to. And it doesn't look like, on the one I had made, uh, per the instructions, that that grommet is here. Uh, I don't see it. I mean, it still works with the tie downs, but I would like to have the option of using those rigid poles in the event that we're in a you know, slightly higher wind or any case like that. I mean, we don't know how it's gonna work out in the wind right now. We haven't tried it, but uh, I do like how easy it is to go up, how conveniently small it is, and we can just, it's lightweight, we can pack it into the to the R-Pod, but uh, um, we'll have to contact uh, the company that made this for us and uh, and uh, see about those grommets. Uh, I don't want to have to ship it back. Uh, it took probably four to eight weeks. It took us eight weeks to have it done, mainly because there was a back order on the um, the, the pole. They, they sourced that out to a different company, the company that uh, makes the uh, fold-out uh, tent pole that goes in it. Uh, wasn't available, so they had sewed my uh, awning. I just uh, couldn't complete the order until they got the poles in. So that's done uh, so far. I, you know, I'm, I'm pleased with the construction of it. I notice it gets really dirty easy when it's on the ground. So it is nylon, like a tent material. So probably just with a damp rag, it'd be easy to wipe down, let it dry, so it doesn't get moldy. Um, uh, we're looking forward to it. We'll get it out and uh, check out the rest of our videos. There's a good chance that uh, uh, the one that we shoot up at uh, Lake Erie will be the first time that we actually have the awning out. So uh, we appreciate it. So, so at least we can get out of the R-Pod in the rain without getting wet. Hopefully.